Uh, I've done other documentaries about the Super Chief and the California Supper and the Daylight and they're all Western trains and they're all great trains but somehow people kept asking me why aren't you doing something back east? And the 20th century is certainly a train to be celebrated. I'm really excited about this project because it's really celebrating one of America's finest and most famous trains, the 20th Century Limited. And it had a long, rich career from 1902 to 1967. We had wonderful passenger you know, rail service back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, even into the 50s. That was a way of traveling. That was a, the, the only way to go. That was the, the chosen way to go between New York and Chicago. The 20th century was a New York train, uh, whereas the Broadway was more of a Philadelphia train. And of course, you had the water level route, and uh, in the last 16 hours, it was a great way to travel between uh, the two, number one and number two city in our country. It carried all the people of industry and the entertainment world. Frank Sinatra, Ernest Hemingway, uh, Doris Day, uh, Duke Ellington. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. And frankly, anybody who was anybody wrote the century. We hear the, the words today, you know, a red carpet, uh, whether it be in Hollywood at a premiere or whatever. And I think that really started with the New York Central. But I think the most famous part of it was in New York, you know, on track 34. I mean, they rolled that out. I'm told they did it in, in LaSalle uh, Street Station in Chicago as well. When you walk down the red carpet, you really felt this is going to be special. I'm, I'm important. When you checked in at the desk, it was not the conductor picking up the tickets on the train. Uh, you walked by the observation car, and if you did drink, and if you were a frequent travel on the century, you didn't even have to tell them what you wanted, they just brought it to you. When I interviewed uh, John Kinnefick, former chairman of Union Pacific, and he worked for the New York Central for a period of time, he called it Tiffany on Rails. I would just call it an elegant, wonderful experience of travel, and I'm glad I got to do it one time.